guys, what's up? I'm Vanessa. And I'm Jasmine, and we are back at She's Pregnant. Woohoo! A lot happened this week. <laughs> yes, it did, so that's why I want to bring you another two minutes with V and Jack. All right, of course, Kim Kardashian is back in the news. First, the mama of two posted yet another naked selfie. Then she got shaded by Pink, Chloe Grace Moretz, and even Bette Midler. But ultimately, Kimmy clapped back on Twitter and in a lengthy blog crying about slut shaming and women's empowerment. We're still not sure if Kanye was ghost tweeting for Kim, but she did make some valid and clever points. However, if you're so proud of your body, why post a photo from last year? Give us some current. Shout out to Bette Midler though for throwing the most hilarious shade at Kim Cash. Pink, I'm certain, was not talking to you, Kim, or Amber Rose. It was actually about International Women's Day. I thought it was kind of funny how Amber was so quick to defend Kim, but Kim was nowhere in sight when Kanye was slut shaming the hell out of Amber. I'd take 30 showers before I got with Kim, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We could go on and on about slut shaming, but we've got to get to the crazy chronicles of Cat Williams. The comedian has been arrested four times this week. The police have busted Cat for a fight with his bodyguard, possession of firearms, and marijuana, just to name a few. Look, by the time Wednesday got here, Cat had been arrested four times. That's a one arrest per day average. Who does that? Now his girl Hazel E and his boy Beanie Siegel say he's not on any drugs, but if you saw that video, Kat is clearly on something. I mean, he did lunges, squats, karate moves, and spit some bars all in one night. Okay, speaking of crazy videos, Cuba Gooden Jr. had folks talking after several clips surfaced online of him getting his life at Live Nightclub in Miami. <laughs> Cuba is so lit that he has taken somebody's phone, ate it, and then flipped his shirt hair like it was real. I haven't seen Cuba this lit since Jerry Maguire. What you gonna do, Jerry? defense, he did tell Larry King he was having a hard time getting past his role in The People vs. O.J. Simpson. So maybe he's still recovering. Well, that is it, but be sure to log on to hiphollywood.com for more from V and J. <laughs> we'll see you next week.